Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to go through some of my newborn essentials that you'll actually use um, and my tips because when you're becoming a mum for the first time it can be so overwhelming. Um, there's so many products out there on the market and it's like what am I actually going to use? What am I actually going to need? Um, and trust me there was so many things that I got that I just never even touched. Um, so I've written a list. I've got it here on my phone so I'm going to read through it with you guys. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so the first one on my list, my first newborn tips is do not buy expensive newborn clothes because it is so frustrating when they grow out of them so quickly. Um, my, I have a six month old now, Hudson, and Harley's two. And finally, Harley's at an age where his clothes are lasting a little bit longer, although they start to get wrecked now by mud and food and all that stuff, fun stuff. Anyway, but the newborn clothes, they just like, they grow out of them so quickly. So tip number one is do not buy expensive newborn clothes. Uh, tip number two is say no to baby suits with buttons down the front of it. That is like, who even thought of inventing something like that? Like that just makes absolutely no sense to me. Buttons down the front of a newborn onesie is so annoying in the middle of the night when it's like so dark and you're half asleep and you're trying to change a nappy and then you gotta try and clip the buttons up. Absolutely not. Say no to suits with buttons on them. Zips only to make those middle of the night changes so much easier. Um, my third tip is pseudo cream is amazing it's like absolute magic cream uh, for nappy rash and all that kind of stuff which isn't really a thing when uh, you have a breastfed baby but you know with heat and whatnot if you're having a summer baby it can definitely become more of a thing so uh, pseudo cream I've tried so many different ones like Bepanthem um, there's a couple of other ones on the market and I just can't seem to find anything that works as well as pseudo cream like literally within an hour that nappy rash will be gone. So pseudo cream is tip number two. Um, tip number four is cotton flannel nappies. So you can go to like the baby stores and get like the cotton flannel nappy. It's a pack of, I don't know how many it is, it might be five or 10. Um, and they are so amazing just to have in your nappy bag. I've got a crying baby in the background guys. <laughs> uh, have the cotton flannel nappies in your nappy bag and they're perfect little spill towels they're just white so they're so super easy to clean um, chuck in the washing machine and then you pull them out it's not a really nice little um, like baby wrap that you're gonna wreck it's yeah it's perfect so cotton flannel nappies is baby tip number four uh, baby tip number five for uh, newborns is plastic nappy bags for like dog poo bags for your nappies so incredible nobody told me about this and one day I just randomly stumbled across this this is an absolute must for when you're out and about and you've got a blowout um, and you don't have anywhere to put it and you don't want to really have it in your pram or you're in the shops and it's kind of stinks get the doggy poo bags or they do make specific nappy bags and then you can put the nappy straight in the bag tie them up um, and then you have to worry about it later I've got a baby crying so I'll be back <laughs> All right, I am back with a friend who is into their hair pulling stage. Guys, this is lovely. I love this for me. <laughs> yeah, I love that for me, Hudson. All right, Hudson's gonna finish off the, uh, the baby tips with me, aren't we? Yeah, we're gonna show everybody through mummy's baby tips. Here you go, let's have a look at the phone. So the last one was the nappy bags. Yep, that's a must. Oh, okay, this is a good one. What's this, tip number six, I think? invest in a good portable breast pump now for the breastfeeding mamas out there this is amazing so i had a portable breast pump and also tip number seven but also goes along with tip, tip number six uh, make sure you buy the bra that you can sit the breast pump in so you can go hands free and walk around the house um, that was a life-changing thing that i had is a portable breast pump so get onto that i think i had the medella one um, I'll pop the link in the description for that one. It was so good. It was like the perfect power. The battery lasted forever. Um, super easy to clean and put back together. So portable electric breast pump. 
and buy the hands-free bra so you can be sitting on the couch on your phone doing whatever you need to do uh, the love to dream baby like sleep suits I'm sure you've seen them out there they are super expensive but I found them so worth it um, they actually have the TOG, which is the thermal overall grading, I think, rating on them. And I'm sure other suits do as well. But I just found the Love to Dream ones so worth the money because it's just peace of mind. Like when I first had Harley, I would wrap him up, like swaddle him just in the little swaddles at night time. And it was fine, but he would kind of get out of them. Um, and then I would be like freaking out and have major mum anxiety that he was going to choke on one of them in the night or something. So just cut to that. Go, go straight to the Love to Dream suits. They zip up. They're like a little angel with their arms up. Hudson loved them. Um, and then you can transition easily out of them. And yeah, they have that thermal overall grading. So you can choose the temperature um, environment that you're in. And it will tell you exactly what pajamas they need to wear underneath that. So worth the money those are. Okay, this is a good one for new mums out there. The next tip is that you don't need any toys or teething toys in the first like two to three months. It's just survival. <laughs> so don't stress that you're like, you're having your first baby and you're like, I gotta get any toys. What kind of toys do I need? I need teethers. Like honestly, all that stuff is still available. They still make it at the shops. The first couple of months, they are just survival, honey. <laughs> So don't stress about that and you'll know when your baby starts to this guy He's six months old now and he's chewing on things They get to a certain point where you'll know they want to start chewing on things. So perfect Let's get out the house a reason to get out the house and go and buy some teethers um, Okay, next one is if your family and friends ask you how they can support you during this newborn postpartum time the first thing that you need to tell them is to cook you meals. I didn't even know how something so simple can make such a difference like when you're postpartum. At those, in those early days when you're home with your newborn, like the first six weeks are honestly just a blur because you're so tired and recovering. And to be able to have family or friends just drop over like a big dish of lasagna or spaghetti or something that you can have for like four nights in a row, it's life-changing so if anybody asks how can I help how can I support you during this time just say hey I would love a big lasagna that we can eat for the next four weeks no I'm joking but for the next couple of nights and it's like your breakfast you know you have a piece of toast but then you eat lunch you get hungry and you need to make sure that you're nourishing yourself because you're still recovering so family and friends need to help you out with food Okay, cool. My next tip is the lollipop um, camera, which is so amazing. So I have it now. We actually have two, both for Harley and Hudson. Um, and they are an app on your phone, a lollipop baby monitor, lollipop camera, baby monitor. And um, they do video and sound. And yeah, they're just an app on your phone. But it's so good because we can actually go out, um, Daniel and I, on a date night and we can check in on the kids and see are they actually asleep are they crying what are they doing maybe it's not good but um i really love that part oh, we've got another friend here do you want to climb up here and have a look hey everybody can you see say hi say hello Bluey. yeah he's watching bluey everybody it's so much fun Bluey. all right so yeah the lollipop camera is awesome and then also what we do with our lollipop camera i'll show you on here is because we've got two boys we actually have two of their cameras stacked on top of each other um harley's is offline right now but it just makes it so easy so uh you can also pay for a subscription and get some extra stuff like their breathing monitoring um and all that but i don't bother about that but you can check that out uh okay my next tip Excuse me. <laughs> you say excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. What is he doing? Okay, cool. Um, next tip is a changing table or a train change station with everything you need like in one spot. So make sure you've got their clothes, their nappies, their wipes, their pseudo cream, everything you need just in one area. It makes it so much easier and it's something that I didn't have prepared when I first got home and there was just like, you know, the just something as small as the change table being here and the drawers being behind you is like 
it's too much and then you kind of have to like reach and like keep your hand on the chest so they don't fall or not that they can roll that early but still the mum anxiety is real guys um so yeah so have a change table with everything all in one is really good um the next one is the Huggies wipes in the refillable box and the pouch is really good. Um, it's just great for the environment and it's so easy because you don't have to have a bunch of nappy, uh, sorry, wipe packets. This is so lovely guys. This is my wife. Um, you don't have to have a bunch of wipe packets just laying around the house. So get the refillable Huggies ones, good for the environment. Um, that brings me to my next one is Huggies nappies. They are expensive, but they are worth their weight in gold because trust me, when you get those big blowouts, you are going to want something that is going to hold everything in. Otherwise, it's going to be a shambles. So invest in Huggies nappies and I promise it's worth it. My next one is a white noise machine in your room or like a lullaby machine. Um, so we actually have a riffraff toy. Uh, both of the boys have one. I'll pop the link below. They are amazing. You can choose what kind of animal you want. Uh, you push their little ears and one is a... Sorry about that. One is a white noise and the other side is a um, lullaby and they're perfect. They're so good. You can take them when you go on holiday. You don't have to plug them in anywhere. Um, they actually have like a little plug-in portable charger. So if they die, but I find that they last maybe like two weeks every night or every nap actually for Hudson for about two weeks, which is pretty good. My next one is, you see those rocking chairs in the baby nurseries? I would definitely say they are needed because in the middle of the night when you wake up you just you need somewhere to sit you need somewhere to feed with the baby um, if you don't have a rocking chair in the room then you might have to go to the couch or somewhere you can sit down so that's that's definitely a must and make sure you uh, talk to your partner because investing in a good rocking chair is worth it mamas <laughs> okay cool next one is mobile hangers so you know you get those those mobile hangers that hang over the cots and like have the pretty things that twinkle and turn around. Um, I personally say no to those. But what I actually did, I got gifted one of those for Harley. And what I did is I actually took it off the cot and stuck it to the change table and hung it over the change table. Which was perfect because it keeps them entertained while they're getting their nappy change. Um, and stops them from kicking around and trying to put their feet in the pool. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, but when you have the mobile hangers over top of their cots, I just, it's really distracting for them. And when you're in bed, we need to start learning straight away that bed is not a place for us to be playing. It's a place for us to quieten down and go to sleep. So we've got our white noise teddy or our lullaby. Um, and that's all we need. We don't need any distraction of toys that we want to try and catch or play with. <laughs> all right, Hudson, we're getting close. Yeah, we're getting close. Okay, cool. Uh, another one is a night light in the room. So when you wake up for the feeds in the middle of the night, hey, um, having a night light is super helpful. Something you can just flick on. I don't keep it on all the time because you want to just get them used to just being in complete, complete pitch black so um, Harley's two years old and he just sleeps in complete darkness like not even a TV light on and that might be because that's how I have to sleep so I've just passed that down but I'm um, definitely having a light in their room so if they do wake up in the night you don't have to make it bright with the with the main lights you can just um, yeah you can just turn on the night light that's perfect Once... chicken, nuggets. chicken nuggets no way show me can you show me look Say chicken nuggets. Have you got Hudson's milk? Look, can you show everybody? Yay, Hudson's milk. What are you doing stealing oh, yeah. Hudson's milk, you cheeky man? My, I've got two more. My last, uh, sorry, my second to last one is um, the Bumbo seats. So I will pop a link in the description for those two. They are so good when your baby can start holding their head up um, and you need to start feeding them solids, but they can't quite sit up. The Bumbo seats are amazing. They help their little tummy muscles learn to be able to sit up, don't they? Um, Hudson has one. He actually has Harley's one. And yeah. it's okay. Okay, he's fine. It's just pulling us here. Just <laughs> oh, it's chaos. 
So yeah, a bumbo seat is definitely worth, uh, worth investing in. And then you get a high chair once they eventually can hold their head up and sit up properly. But bumbo seat first. And then my last one of my essentials, and this is still why you're pregnant to get this, is gift you and your partner hypnobirthing. It is the most incredible, amazing thing. I will do a whole video just on hypnobirthing because um, my partner and I did it for, we did it for Harley and then we didn't have to do it again for Hudson because we basically already knew everything on what to do. But um, hypnobirthing is so beautiful and it just makes you like, not scared about what's to come you know as a first time mum it can be really daunting the whole birthing process and how are we going to do this and is this going to hurt or blah 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 so i'll do a whole video just on hypnobirthing mm. and my experience with it um having two cesareans and how i incorporated hypnobirthing into that but um yeah. Okay, I just put Hudson down for a nap because he started to get a little bit grumpy. And um, I thought of a few more things that I forgot to add in. So I'm just quickly putting this in at the end of the video here. Um, uh, one of them is the Baby Beyond, and it doesn't actually have to be the Baby Beyond brand, but just a baby seat, like the little bouncer seats that just um, move with the motion of the baby. They're amazing because when you, um, from birth straight away, when you need to go and have a shower or if you need to cook dinner or, or even just go to the toilet and you like, where do I put this kid? <laughs> um, just sit them in the Baby Bjorn carrier or just the little seat, sorry. Um, any brand is fine. I think Kmart do them super cheap, but they're really worth it. They're nice and comfy. They're locked in there. Um, so yes, you definitely need one of those on your list. And then uh, another one is a little seat for the bath and I'll pop a link in the description for one of those as well. They're really good. From birth, you can use them. I didn't use it for Hudson or Harley until a few weeks old maybe, just after I got used to just bathing them by myself. But once they can sit in the seat, it's awesome. Um, you do just need to bear in mind that every now and then you'll need to lay them down in the water because getting the water in their ears is actually really good for cleaning their ears out naturally so um, but the seat's great because they're slippery little suckers when they're wet so if you've got them in a seat then at least they're, they're secure and they're safe and you can wash them and get in all the nooks and crannies that you need to um, and then one more thing that I had as well that I thought of was the uh, baby a baby carrier so if you go out the house just to go food shopping with a newborn is so hard because you're like where do I put this kid? And having a pram to push them around is great, but if you need to do a big food shop, you can't fit all the food in the pram. So a baby carrier. Um, I personally have the baby beyond one. That's the mesh one because we're in the Gold Coast. It's so hot. So it's really breathable, which I love. Um, but there's so many brands out there. So choose whatever one you feel comfortable with. Maybe try it on. But personally, as I say, I like the baby beyond one. And that does um, from birth as well. I think three and a half kilos is the smallest. You can put them in there. And then your hands free. You can move around the shops, you can push the trolley around the shops and you can um, do food shopping and all the stuff that you need. All right, that is it for my newborn essentials. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that can make your uh, journey into motherhood a little bit less overwhelming. So just stick with the basics, keep it really easy and simple and give yourself more time to focus on you and your recovery and your baby. Um, and yeah, thank you for joining. I'm new to the YouTube world, so I've got plenty of cool videos for mums, great mum tips, mum hacks, and also good luck to you if you're watching this and you're pregnant and you're about to welcome your first child. Thanks for joining. Bye.